In this video, it says, a 10-year-old boy, a 10-year-old boy is brought to the physician by his parents for a well-child exam. His parents say that he avoids contact and he is unable to interact socially with his peers who think he is odd. The parents add that he is fascinated by weather. He watches the weather channel whenever he can and wants to talk about me meteorology during most conversations. His intelligence and language development are normal. Which of the following most likely which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Is it Asperger disorder, childhood disintegrative disorder, fragile X, obsessive compulsive Rett syndrome? Now, there are some things that we have to take into account here. There are some specific clues to this question. Now he says that the parents add that he's fascinated by weather. Okay? He's fascinated by weather. He watches the weather channel whenever he can. He wants to and he wants to talk about meteorology during most conversations. So he has a very specific interest and that's all he wants to talk about. Let's talk about his intelligence. His language development are normal. So if intelligence and language development is normal, that should tell you that he is probably not autistic. I'm not even, you know, looking at the options. I'm just thinking what he could be. Um, in a real diagnosis, you are not going to be given options. You just have to think uh, what the uh, diagnosis is, right? So his intelligence and language development are normal. So he's not completely autistic, maybe a little bit autistic. Maybe that's an option here. So again, let's read from the beginning. So he's a 10-year-old boy who is brought to the physician by his parents for a world child. His parents say that he avoids eye contact. So he avoids eye contact and he's, and he's unable to interact socially. Okay, he's unable to interact socially and that his peers think he's odd. So his peers don't think he is, you know, completely dumb or anything. They think he's odd. His parents add that he's fascinated by weather. He watches the weather channel whenever he can and he wa wants to talk about meteorology during most conversations, which tells me that he has normal intelligence, normal language development. He's not completely autistic, but he has some odd characteristic. Now let's look at the uh, options. Oh, by the way, he also avoids eye contact and he's unable to interact socially with his peers who think he's odd. Okay, so there is some sort of um, social problem here. So in this uh, option, we have Asperger disorder A, childhood disintegrative disorder, fragile X. I know this is not fragile X because people with fragile X are mentally retarded. So C is, ups uh, C is out from the get-go. This is not obsessive compulsive because that's usually behavior that things that they want to touch and feel. It's not really about conversations. So D is also out. With Rett disorder, this is usually an X-linked disorder and is usually seen in women or in girls. Uh, males with uh, Rett's disorder, they usually die in the utero. Um, so this is not Rett's disorder. You know, I mean, because most of the times it's seen in girls. Now we are left with Asperger and childhood disintegrative disorder. Now with childhood disintegrative disorder, you're going to see a normal development to a certain age, usually it's between 2 to 10, and then they're going to disintegrate. So there's normal development followed by disintegrate. That kind of pattern is not seen here. So clearly this is Asperger disorder because this patient is almost normal, a little bit odd socially, and wants to talk about the single topic that he's interested in. These are some of the things that we see in Asperger's. Asperger syndrome or disorder. Um, if you want to look up Asperger disorder, this is this is going to be on first aid, on page 485, and they usually talk about how it's a milder form of autism, Asperger disorder, and it's they're going to be characterized by repetitive behavior, problems with social relationships. Children are normal of normal intelligence and lack verbal or cognitive deficits and usually they have no language impairment. So these kind of disorders are usually seen with Asperger disorder. So in this case, the answer is going to be A.